Hello everyone, hello Audacious Church, hope you are well today and at whatever point in your day that you are watching this, um, I pray and believe that you um, are blessed and are continue to be blessed and live in God's blessing. Welcome to deva today's devotion, my name's Darren and I am pastoral lead for Manchester Central um, a pastor at Manchester campus and um, it's my privilege to bring you this devotion uh, this mor uh, morning I said it I, did, I said it there uh, to bring you this devotion today and uh, first just give you the scripture Hebrews 10 24 to 25 in the passion translation says this discover creative ways to encourage others and to motivate them towards acts of compassion doing beautiful works are, are as expressions of love. This is not the time to pull away or hold back and neglect meeting together, as some of you are, have formed the habit of doing. In fact, we should come together even more frequently. Just um, over the last few uh, weeks, God has really spoke to me um, clearly, not in an, an audible voice, but an, an impression on my heart. Um, and he simply said these words, don't hold back. And um, I honestly believe that it's just not for me, but actually it's for um, some of you out there who are listening for us as a, a community that um, at this time, it is not the time to hold back. And uh, I wanted to share that with you. And there's many areas in which we... Um, shouldn't hold back we shouldn't hold back with our love our encouragement as christians our support of one another we shouldn't hold back our tithe that is not something that we should hold back um, we shouldn't hold back our love for our friends and our family and um, the people in in our world but just today i just wanted to look at just one thing of where we uh, as a as a community should not hold back and it's meeting together and um, my friends, my community have always been of incredible importance to me and they have helped me through the worst of times and celebrated me um, in the best of times. Community is important. Having a group of friends is important. And um, it's, it's often difficult as well um, because um, you have to get over yourself. You have to step out of your comfort zone and make an intentional effort to get to know people. Perhaps you're uh, maybe starting at a point of, I, I don't know if I know anybody or I've got to build some friendships. And they can be, and I remember um, those moments, um, those awkward moments of saying hello to someone, um, going to a new environment and, and having to, to build uh, new friendships and um and one of the things that's always been important to me and i was i was really fortunate to be brought up in a christian home and in a church environment and my parents um always um promoted the importance of small groups and as i was growing up their names changed many times they were home groups they were connect groups they were life groups but their purpose never did they um they were Groups of people encouraging each other, supporting each other and helping each other in times of need. There was prayer and devotion and power. There was social times and ministry times. Uh, I saw many amazing things, especially when my family was was supported through a particularly different time, uh, time difficult time, sorry. I saw people, neighbours um, come to know and follow Jesus, a deaf man healed and a sick baby made well. But the greatest thing I saw was the brilliance and beauty of friendship, how they grew and flourished and how people were welcome and accepted and loved and cared for and supported. And I was one of those people. Small groups are an amazing thing. I love meeting in this environment with my community to encourage and be encouraged growing in relationship sometimes it's not easy i've got to get over myself i've got to step into into it and in these times when i've got so much more to do and i think oh you know what i just won't do that i'll just skip maybe skip small group or or keep whatsapp in my small group or telling them what's going on in in my world i think i'll do something that i encourage myself don't pull away. Don't hold back. Hebrews 10, 24 to 25 says it brilliantly in the passion. This is not the time to pull away or hold back and neglect meeting together as some have formed the habit of doing. In fact, we should come together even more frequently. It's an encouragement 
and a challenge for us to know because of everything that is happening in the world around us it's not the time to pull away or hold back and neglect meeting together it's a time to make small groups a priority to pull your community close or find a small group community i believe they will at this time be invaluable to you they're invaluable to me and as we grow in them small groups our community becomes an invaluable asset in our lives that we can lean on that we can be supported by that we can encourage in and be encouraged by so church i would just encourage you don't hold back don't pull away press in and push in to your small group find a small group go to audaciouschurch.com forward slash small groups Register your interest and find a small group there. They will be invaluable to you. And I really believe that. But my encouragement is don't hold back. Love you, church. Have a great rest of your day. Speak soon. Praying bless, blessing over you. Pray, praying favour for you. And that God will provide everything that you need today. In Jesus' name, amen.